Hello everyone, how good of you to join and welcome back just in time as we are going for another island, well for a first island once again in the new world. My clipper heavily damaged is in the back. I need to be careful that there's no attack ship coming out, especially out of the fog there um, in behind because it's totally uh, without protection already pretty low so it could be down quite fast. Um, I need to push though into the harbor area now. So we're going to take this one. I think there is a ship somewhere here looking around of the Admiral. Um, and yeah, well, basically, if you haven't seen the last episode, well, we've lost a Tristao here and it's gone for us. It's also really far away down there in the south. So it was never really the best of islands that we could take. This one is a bit better because it got the sugarcane. It got cotton. Both of them are very important for us early on and coffee even for later. But yeah. We don't have the space for all of that, of course. Um, but also, it's pretty close to the border here, so I would really like to take this one. It would be easy for trade routes. My clipper is going to wait a bit outside of the cannons there. And now my fleet is pushing in. And of course, we need to destroy that warehouse there quickly. Um, that clipper we're going to ignore for now. Even though we don't need to, we can sail our ships right here in the center and they can fire from both sides. Ah. There he is. Look at that. Yeah. So he's going to get attacked now from all of those ships here on that side. And that should do some damage to him. Not destroying him though. Established. Even though it was close. And we can take this one now. Without losing any ship, hopefully. Okay, that clipper is coming in now. Blah, blah, uh, 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 let's stop there, please. Perfect, and then we took it. So that is that is a nice conquer this time, though, because we do get the sugar cane, and with that we do get rum, and rum is just so powerful for money. Now we also get some items here: a pilot, for example, bosun, an ensign, damage to sailing ships plus ten percent, and some torpedoes there that we could use as well. My fleet is waiting here now. Oh god, this one's heavily damaged. Repair crane is out of the question for now, though. And we get the building materials here to start something up. And start something up we do need. And it's getting a bit stressful there because in the old world we have our problems as well. But I do need to get my city up here as quick as possible. As quick as possible. Let's just have a nice harbor area there. And then probably something here. I can get a bit closer there, I think. This one. Perfect. Let's unload. There we have it. I'm going to keep my fleet now here, of course, for protection of me now until I can build my first cannon tower then myself for protection. We, by the way, could, just to, the, to annoy him, take this one. And yeah, there's only some mounted guns. This could be possible as well to really damage him. But I don't want to risk my shippies. Now, let's just check. Um, once we, What we still need here is there's the ship of the line. Another clipper is coming out and then another ship of the line. We get the Admiral Influence bonus there as well, thanks to having so many ships. This should boost the movement speed. Ah, attack speed plus 7%. That's even better. And let's just build us a few more houses there. So we have the balanced out workforce. Now my slaughterhouses are working. I do have my clipper here ready. Endearment. And also something else that I do need is I'm going to stop the timber trade right there. Oh, we are full on timber anyway in Madison. And what we're going to do here is something that I do need to do really quickly. First of all, I can't build that bridge here. It baffles me a bit. Why can I not build a bridge down here? That's possible. This is not possible anymore, but this is possible. All right. It's the only way to get to those two sea deposits there for iron ore and for coal. And I'm going to need them. Now, Vendemong is probably going to be my capital here in the old world, not Madison. And for that, I'm going to need some more raw materials. So I'm going to collect via mines here. And I think that we have another coal deposit. And there we have the last iron deposit. I'm going to need both of them. So let's just Shift have a road all the way over there. Another clipper is coming out. We're going to need that now soon. And then I'm going to have my warehouse here for an iron deposit number one and here I can have then iron deposit number two 50 workers we can afford that and also a coal mine over here 
plus the warehouse right here. And I think we do have another coal deposit. There it is. Let's also build this one right away. And this warehouse, we will probably need to upgrade them. Let's also have a... Uh, no, let's not do this for now. No, that is fine. Alrighty. And this endearment here, the clipper, can now do two things. First of all, the schnapps here trader is gone, of course. We, we lost it, kind of like. It was a schooner. Schooners are just really bad. And let's get us the new one, Aostar, to Bendemark. And this one is transporting schnapps. Um, it's going to transport iron and it's going to transport coal. All of that. We still have room for one more good and that's going to be green. There it is. And endearment is on this trade rod here. And a clipper is fast, right? So it should definitely use all the capacity there is. Um, and we can still add a second clipper to that. We also build another clipper here, Grey Goblin. And Grey Goblin is doing something else. And that is from Madison to Vandemark. And we're going to take in Madison, we're going to take... We could take pigs only and get them over. Or I'm just taking the sausage, right? Let's take sausage and let's take soap. And both of that is going to Vandemark to supply it. For now, um, so Vandemark is going to be supplier for these goods. Um, I will probably need to demote some of my buildings or something else since timber is now coming in from Aostar. Let's get rid of my timber production here. We don't need that many anymore. Plus, I could still have it somewhere else. Let's get rid of the warehouse. And instead, let's continue with um, Madison to have a few more buildings here. We already have the warehouse there. So it is totally possible to do that. Uh, and of course, while we do all of that, nothing happens in the new world, right? And I do need to build something in the new world now, quickly. But this is also really important. Ah, that was perhaps a bit too much. Because I think it's going to be out of the outside of the area for the market. That's it. So there is a bit more workforce now coming in for our sheep, uh, for our sheep, for our pig. Um, and soap production, right? The soap production, we can still boost a bit more. And space-wise, we could get rid of this charcoal kiln here to get the get a few more pig farms up and running. But that's on the way now. Clippers fast. They should not be really damaged by any ships or something like that. We do have those frigates available. And where's my ship of the line? There's one coming out and there's two coming out. Perfect, both of them. That's really it for now. There's no attack force coming in as far as I can see. All right, ooh, so let's go to the new world. He's fighting off the pirates himself. Very good, so he's a bit distracted, the Admiral. So we can do something here now. And that is the first thing over here. It's going to be our timber production once again that we need. All right, there we have it, the sawmills. And over here, we already have a almost finished city. Let's build the marketplace for that. I do have a bit of room here for another chapel that we're going to have then here in the town center. And also, let's build those houses. And yeah, we can build quite a few of them to get the workforce in. Also, now here, the timber should be flowing in them with those buildings. Ah, let's just finish the last timber production there as well. The third sawmill that is working for us now. Um, timber is then coming in. We do have a bit of bricks, a bit of steel beams here to build also our first um, cannon towers then here. The frigate, meanwhile, is repairing itself slowly but steadily. So it's coming up there already. And the clipper here is also waiting, waiting for some action. Some action here. Boy, Admiral, if you don't build a cannon tower there soon, we might take this island from you as well. And then you're going to be in deep trouble. Uh, speaking about deep trouble, we are, of course, the last of the players right now to build up a new old town, so I should not speak so boldly. Now let's get back to the old world. Um, in the old world, a ship of the line is out now. Over there, this schooner can continue with its timber trade route here once more. And there's the clipper number one. Ah, there's a pirate frigate coming in, but it should not be a big deal there to that. And there's my schnapps trade routes. And Vandermark, we should be seeing now some, yep, sausage, some soap. As we can see, there's also a bit of schnapps coming in. Um, and we can use all of that to our advantage because those guys here, the workers, only need bread from now on. But of course, of course, it's not going to be so easy. Um, let's boost a few more farmers to workers. So those guys here.
And in Aostar, uh, we do need more grain. So let's build the next uh, grain farm over there. Also another flour mill then most likely. And in Vandermark, I'm going to prepare now everything for the beer to come in. Also, since a lot of iron is coming in and coal, the sewing machines might be possible here now pretty soon. They're probably going to have them over there in my factories, right? Because that is a good location. Um, I mean, we're already doing something here. Sewing machine factories though are pretty big. So I'm not going to be able to squeeze in too many here. So right, let's rather use them on that island over there. That small island, more or less, that we have. There's also another deposit here for coal. Perfect. That we can start with the next production chains here. Now, there's one problem, though, and that is the goulash that we need for the canned food. We need the cattle farm, but we need the red pepper fertility for that. And, of course, where is red pepper? On this island down here that has been taking now quite some time. And, yeah, I do need to take this one back again. That's why I'm building up some smaller fleet here. Um, two frigates, one ship of the line. And we're going to need that then. Oh, yes, I can also build the next ship of the line now. Come out there, and there's another one. So three we have now pretty Waiting soon. Yep. Oh, as we can see, Schnapps, for example, is full. There's also some grain now being transported to Vandermark. And I'm only going to deliver the grain because we're going to need the grain for flour and for the malt houses then. For the soap production, we have a bit of farmer here now. Let's go ahead with two more sheep farms, uh, pig farms, then two more rendering works and one more soap factory over there, right? So let's double our soap production. And we have lots of farmers and I can use the remaining timber that I have to boost a few more buildings here so that we have a balanced out workforce once more. Since I do have the consumer good trade route here with the sausage and the soap, of course, we should keep a minimum stock uh, for the sausage there of, let's say, 10 tons so that the people of Madison don't run out of sausages themselves. That would be pretty bad for us. And also for the soap here, let's make a minimum stock of 10 for that. This one's... Oh, yeah. And then we just move uh, a shipyard. That's when you click too quickly. And that actually cost me 6,000. But well, anyway. Um, and we should do the same thing here for the people of Aostar. I'm actually going with 20 tons here. Um, for the timber, since we're delivering all that timber to Madison, let's also make a minimum stock of 40 timber. So I'm still able to build something in Aostar if I need to. And for bricks, are we? No, we are not building any or constructing any bricks here. Um, and for the green... This is fine that it can deplete because we don't need the grain for anything else. It's all uh, meanwhile, once again, there is an attack on Tristao, so I need renamed that, of course. It's Miss, Miss Hunt this time, but it's a very weak attack from what I can gather. So she's got a frigate there, a ship of the line, and of course we're going to take this one down. I guess you just try to be the Admiral for once. And let's take them down. Oh, that ship of the line. She really wants to, to die here, it seems. All right, no problem. Oh, and Tristau at the same time reached the city status of town. That one's gone. Now it's two. And there's a bit of loot that we should look out for. This one's going away there. Ah, we might actually be able to take it down. Oh, look at that. Some epic items that we find here as well. That we could use. Very good. And that frigate is going down too. Get them back there, and yes, I might. We need we need another island anyway because Tristau doesn't have plantain fertility, and in Braggart or in the Admiral's Town here we do have plantain fertility, right? So I do need that for upgrading my Honoleros to Obreros, which is very important. Another ship of the line is coming out. Another one in construction. For the next one, we still need to wait a bit here for some Attention, weapons to come in, but that's fine. Let's get this one over there. So we are building up a second fleet. I need to be careful about not losing any of those ships, of course. Now, there's another problem. Taking another island, we need to protect it. Of course, I don't have enough weapons here at the moment. The 20 Just tons we need in Tristau itself. What I can still do is I think I should be able though to yeah get the rum production going so rum we can get back to the old world at least that is something let's finish those few more houses there after all Tristau is going to be a nice big city there eventually hopefully without any further conquest even though the AI tries of course
let's get those houses there on the way perfect and in the old world i need to boost my weapon production there so we're getting a bit of iron over there to bend the mark i do have my steelworks here so let's get also another weapon factory on the way now so we have now three four weapon factories that are producing us some juicy weapons there that we need i might also be thinking about boosting his productivity 50 percent without any loss of happiness that's all the things that we need to do here really and let's also build a few more farmers there how's the consumption looking for vendemark we really need to boost this town there now fish is out workload is stable um schnapps is coming in sausage is coming in soap is coming in the grain is coming in for the bread that would be the last good that we need here so let's start a smaller um, production or smaller industry somewhere and yet this corner here is just perfect for that because the bread production overall doesn't need a lot of space so what i can do here is i'm going to have a couple of windmills let's make it five and that would be a lot of uh, bread by the way so that's 10 bakeries that we can afford with those flour mills let's go ahead and get us four bakeries up here no bridge please i'm going to need another warehouse of course and then we can have more of them here just fine that will also look out for a fire station just in this corner there can also supply the industry that we have over there just fine and that's it really let's build the warehouse let's build the fire station let's build two flour mills and let's build four bakeries that should really supply all the people of vandemark with bread and with that we could also now go for artisans in vandemark the only thing that i would still need here is a school um the school building i could yeah i'm going to have for this district for now here right so there i would like to have a church so actually let's have the church like this in the center right churches are very expensive so i don't want to build too many of them one here will be fine uh the church and then behind it we're going to have the school and in between we're going to have a nice little plaza there something like that here's the entrance for the school just behind the church and then we might have some ornaments here, like a stature. Who knows about that? That's something for later. By the way, in Vandermark, we don't have any bricks. Um, that's another thing that I will need to get from Madison. In Madison, I'm using this one here. I think we still have one more clay deposit available, right? Yes, there it is. We have the workers for that. So I might also just be using the last brick, last clay deposit now for good uh, with the two brick factories and then our warehouse just here and so that it doesn't annoy my people too much let's have some trees around that <laughs> so no one really sees what's going on here right Ship under attack. very good oh god where it's a clipper it's a clipper being attacked by a pirate just passing by nothing too serious i do have my fleet here and my fleet is going on a bit of a patrol now so they are waiting here of course let's make it on passive defense and assign from yeah basically in this channel from here to here right so they're just going back and forth now and destroying everything that's in their path and actually let's not have them grouped because it's such a small uh, patrol route here so they're going to split up over time and thus have a higher density than of protection very good there's a lot of goods coming in right now into vandemark the soap the sausage is capped already schnapps not that much so i will probably need another ship here then soon as i can see iron and coal are capped too so that we produce way more than we can actually deliver a second clipper ship might be handy here and there's already some smaller skirmish but that's really just one ship here that is being destroyed by my patrol and i don't need to worry about that anymore I'm um, speaking about anything else. Ooh, where's the timber? There's some timber coming in now. It's not a lot because there was still the ability, uh, the necessity of uh, capping here the 40 timber, right? That I said as a minimum price. And speaking about that 40 timber, we can use that right away on some additional grain farms that I'm going to need here for Vandemark, since we do need quite a lot of grain, to be honest, that we need for the beer production as well that I'm determined to get out there. So let's just have some additional grain fields here and this one is basically filling up this whole corner there uh, let's actually move this one one step up so that i have a bit of room here for another street with this area there and let's build both of them okay there is a pirate ship that was taken down yeah and harlow has lots of ships available right now she might be coming for us there 
in full force. Um, <laughs> we need to be quick when that happens. Level 31, how very good. We're pushing our influence there a bit. And let's upgrade the next houses here with a bit of timber that I still have. So far so good. Vendemark is getting what it needs. Bricks would be my next one. I can build the school though now. And let's also build the church here. It's expensive, but it's so, so worth it. It makes the population really happy, as we can see. You've got our interest and the bread is also coming in now. So Vandermark has everything they need to have the artisans. My second artisan city then. Let's go back to the new world real quick. I do have more timber amassed. Let's build those funnelleros here. Let's get us a bridge to the other side. But we need to be careful where I want to have the bridge. I would like to start building over there. And I would really only like to build one bridge, please. So here I need to make that push into that corner for the, yeah, lots of timber that it costs me. And what we can basically do here now is, well, starting our sugarcane, our rum production. That is just so important that we do that. And once again, Miss Hunt goes in here and tries to take down my clippers. She's backing off again with before we actually lose the clipper. Let's repair this one. I don't have any defense in this corner there, so I will need to make my patrol a bit longer. There's also another ship of the line that we have, and the patrol goes from here to here, right? So it's it's going to be in this in this channel here now, protecting it. We just need to do that. Otherwise, they are exploiting that weakness that we have um, just when I was about to build my new world town, of course. So relentless as always, Miss Hunter. And here, yeah, I was in the process of building up my uh, rum production. We have some sugar cane plantations here. I'm going to have my rum distilleries then just here. Um, they are, of course, being supplied by the sugar cane. Let's start with the first four. We have the Honoleros. So four of them it is. And four of them can supply four distilleries that we then have here. And then I have a warehouse in this corner as well. The only thing we still need for the rum distilleries is a wood. And for that, I do need two lumberjack huts for the amount of wood that we consume for those uh, distilleries. And let's just check this one. I think over there is a nice corner here where we can use some stuff still. Wait a second. I think we don't have a connection here. There it is. Then we have the warehouse. And then I need a lumberjack hut in this corner and one here to provide the wood for those distilleries. And of course we can boost them as well if we want to. Rum production thus has started. The only thing we would need now is a trader. And how lucky we have the Clipper Merlin just here. Now where should the rum go? That is a big question. It will probably go to Madison because that is just very close to the new world. Um, there will be no problem really. And any surplus that we get from Madison is then being transported over to Vandemark, right? So let's do it like that for now. Create the trade route and we are going to take the island here, Tristau, going to Madison right away. As we can see, it can leave here and in the new world, it should be able, yes, to leave straight here without any further ado, yeah, without crossing anyone else there. And in Tristau, we take the rum and quite a lot so. And of course, this is going to be a trade route that will need lots of clippers eventually. Merlin takes off for now. Ship constructed. And since we're now in that stage, I think we should be able to build up some defenses here. The mounted guns are fine. For the cannon tower, we do need some obreros though still. Right? Please so this is where the other island would come in now. I still need some more weapons though. We should have weapons now available. I do have another clipper that I can use. Electra that has just been finished. This one can continue with its trade route. I built another clipper just because we need a lot of them. And I'm expecting in Madison to have some. We have a lot of building materials for weapons there. Very good. That would mean, yeah, let's take 40 tons for four additional cannon towers. Let's make the bricks full here. Let's make the steel beams full here. And that's basically all we need. Let's push this ship to Tristau. Off you go. And the other clipper that's coming out is Ready getting them some building materials. Speaking about them, I do have a trade route available from... There it is. That still has an available spot, the Grape Goblin. And it's going to transport bricks over to Vandermark. Because we don't have uh, clay deposits in Vandermark. I do need that building trade uh, still available there to us. right? -o? Um, while well, this one here has started now too. Like right, we're getting in a lot of bricks. And actually steel beams is fine too. So we would have the ability to upgrade more, of course. Eh, a bit tricky though. Always costing so much. Right, that's it for now. Let's just be happy with what we have. And in Vandermark, we should also be able to upgrade. Yes, 
to get us the artisans in Vendebark. And that's something for the next attack. episode. Stay tuned.